Yeah. 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 about this morning what you talked about this morning uh, in the fifth chapter of James I always looked at that like uh, every time we prayed for people we'd always use that we'd hit it a lick and uh, if you're ailing or anything God will meet that need he will meet that need. Amen. And uh, you can believe it. And uh, I wrote down a few little thoughts here after I was down because I can't remember. More power. It's more power than a battleship. You think about a battleship, think about those carriers. Even the ocean waves, there's power in that. More powerful than a locomotive, than a train locomotive. The 
It's more powerful than a hurricane, tornadoes, and the moon rocket. A moon rocket. It flies off. They say that those rockets, when they shoot them off down there, it shakes the ground a mile away or two miles away. Is that right? No amount of money, no amount of money. I'm going to show y'all something right here. If I got it, if I got it, I brought it. See that little vial right there? If I had one drop of Jesus' blood in it, one drop, well, I'd be the richest man in the world. I'd have wealth of Fort Knox, all the wealth of the world, even Las Vegas, ever, ever, ever place under the earth. If I had one drop of Jesus' blood. Fifth chapter of James tells us that if there's any among you sick, let him call for the elders. Let them anoint him. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Once the uh, a person commits himself to being anointed, his job is complete. He's got a completed job right there. Then uh, you have uh, the elders. And you'll call for the elders to come down this morning. And our elders came down. The anointed, different ones got anointed. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. It's prayer of faith. Prayer of those elders, I think, you know. They don't, the job of the uh, guy or person asking for the prayer is, is over with. Now the elders are going to have to go to work. They're going to have to ask God to come down and intervene in this situation. Not saying that person shouldn't have faith. He should. But uh, the elders' job just begins. That's what I sort of wanted to say, you know. And the song that we plan to do, that we're not going to do. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought I thought you had had mine up here. <laughs> you got a black head. This is yellow head. I, I did that just out of secret. <laughs> Nobody knows that. I uh, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Tempted and tried, oh, Rob me to wonder why this should be.
She still uses it. We were at their house of the night. I think she used that word. All right, good to see you. Uh, let's start off with our first congregational song. Let's go to 64 in the red hymnal, which is holy, holy, holy. And we'll sing verses one and two of it. Jerry didn't do his job, did he? <laughs> well, Jerry's 
chair is kind of occupied.
Dwight told me he had a gaggle of people coming up. The same they like gag. Okay. <laughs> come up here.
Okay, I'm ready to sing Kira's song. Yeah. Okay.
did y'all have one on your own you want to do? Did y'all have an, in, an independent one? Tom does. Tom does? Okay. All right, let's do one more and then you come up. Dan, did you have one? Okay. Yeah, okay. Anybody else? Just let me know. Okay. I don't have one. You don't? You do? I don't. My popular man judge. No. Okay. So, all right. One more uh, congregational and then Mr. Tom coming up. How about 78? 78. Are you coming up here helping? Is it the folder? Black folder. Black folder. Okay, I have never, I've always sung bass on this time. You gotta come up. Well, you don't know, think you gotta sing All right, let's get it. You want to come in up here to do it? Is that the king was coming? All right, all right, guys, come on. You know the word.
about 5.30. They couldn't even see the funeral home to make direction to till 2.30 today. They had a choice of having their funerals tomorrow or Friday. 
So that's, it, you know, was, what did we say, seven, seven funeral homes in this area? And uh, you have to wait three days now, two and a half days to even make arrangements. And then uh, you got one day to make the arrangements, funeral the next day, or wait five more days. So it, anyway, keep them, keep them in your, uh, in your prayers. In the dark of the midnight Have I oft hid my face While the storms howl above me And there's no hiding place Miss the crash the thunder, precious Lord, hear my cry, keep me safe till the storm passes by, till the storm passes over, <clears throat> till the thunder sounds no more, till the cloud sky hold me fast let me stand in the hollow of thy hand keep me safe till the storm passes by when the long night has ended and the storm tempest never comes Lord may I dwell with thee when the storm passes by <clears throat> till the storm passes over till the thunder sounds no more till the clouds sky let me fast let me stand in the hollow of thy hand keep me safe till the storm passes To my knowledge, he's never been here, but he wrote a song that is about here. It's called Love Grows Here. So. Take a look around you. Tell me what you see. I 
and showing our hearts how to sing. Some of us are lonely, some have many friends, some lives just beginning, some are near the end, yet we come together.
OH. Four hundred I O. All right, there you go. Somebody knew what it was supposed to do there. Four hundred in the red hymnal. Four hundred in the red hymnal. All right. Why don't we end with this one? Bobby, you know anybody in Warren, Ohio? <laughs> Where? You know, Warren, Ohio? No, I don't know Yeah, I know somebody. <laughs> 400, the red hymnal. We'll, we'll end with this one tonight. <laughs>
Okay. You got one good on? <laughs> uh, thank y'all very much. Man, the scene was great tonight. Just bless my heart. Keep Joe in your prayers for tomorrow for those of you who yeah. don't come here on Sunday mornings. Joe's having a hip replacement tomorrow. Okay.